All right, hello, hello. I'm gonna be doing a little 10 minute foam rolling today. Um, it's gonna to be pretty basic going over the major, some of the major muscle groups. Um, some things to bear in mind when foam rolling. The goal is to relax into the experience rather than going so intensely that it's painful or you're unable to relax. You wanna be able to breathe lightly and easily through the whole thing. Um, we're gonna be doing about a minute per side. If you find a particularly spicy area that you wanna spend some more time on, go ahead and pause the video. Uh, transitions will be pretty quick, um, just on the minute, um, and then let's get started. So, uh, to begin, we're going to have the foam roller like this, across the bottom of the rib cage, arms crossed, trying to get the elbows to cross, and round the back out, and we're just going to go from the shoulder blades to the bottom of the ribs, up and down. You don't want to put pressure on your neck. And for now, let's avoid going on to the low back. You can focus on one side a little bit more than the other. Just rolling off to one, rolling off to the other, nice and easy. And, uh, let's find the center of the space here, shall we? You can bring your hands back and support your head, open up, give it a little bit of work this way. Don't forget to tuck in and keep things serious. Next, we're going to be working on the pecs and the lats a little bit here in the armpit. So laying on your side, foam roll in the armpit. We're going to roll backwards and then forwards. We're looking to target through here into the pec and into the upper back as you roll forward and back. You can adjust your legs if needed. Now, once you've given that a little bit of forward and back, focusing on the back half, we're going to roll up and down just a little bit in that armpit. Working further down into this area onto the lats. And then let's switch. So first, again, forward and back. Focusing on relaxing and breathing. If you find an area that's particularly, you know, sensitive, as long as it's not causing pain, stay on it and relax into it. And then we're going to work on going up and down on the lats again a little bit. You don't want to be putting extreme pressure on any of your ribs when doing any of this. Should feel like you're working your muscles. After this, we're going to work on the chest and the front of the shoulders. Foam roller in this position. You're going to start off on your knees with your chest supported, rolling forwards and backwards. If you want more pressure, you can lift your knees up and be certain to keep your core engaged as you're going forward and back. This one looks really cool. You should be sure to invite your friends so that they can watch. Focusing on one shoulder a little bit at a time. Back down the center. Keeping the core engaged so that your belly doesn't sag down to the ground. Ah, very good. Next, we're going to come up, have a seat on the foam roller, like so, and come down to one elbow. Then roll up and down on your buttock on that side. If you find that you get better pressure, either by reducing or increasing 
Uh, so it's appropriate for you by shifting to your hand or back down to your elbow. That's totally cool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cross this leg over like so and keep working. Don't let your shirt get caught underneath there. That's fun. We'll switch. So again, we're seated to the side, down to the elbow. When we're rolling here, not on this side, obviously, on the side of pressure, we're going to go from the hip bone all the way down to the bottom of the glute. There's a fair bit of space to address and work on there. Go ahead and cross the leg over now. If you find a spicy spot, keep breathing, relaxing into it rather than holding on and tensing up. All right. Next, we're going to take our foam rollers, lay them down, parallel to our body, with one knee up to the side. We're going to work on the groin, from knee all the way in to the inner thigh, all the way to the groin, rather, where the leg and the body meet, and then coming back out. You can adjust as needed as you can see me doing. straightening the leg or bending the leg to get pressure as needed and as feels best for you. On this one, once we're up in the groin, we're going to add a little bit of shearing, which is to say trying to get to roll over the fibers rather than down and back along the fibers. So just a little bit of up and down to try to get those muscles to relax. And then hands and knees, switch sides, same experience. We should all rotate here for a different angle. A little bit of an abdominal workout to keep your core engaged so that your back isn't uh, falling down to the floor or your belly isn't falling down to the floor but that you're staying connected. And again, find an area where you want a little bit more attention and give it a little bit of shear, a little bit of up-down. And we'll roll in here. All right, very good. Next, we're going to move on to the calves. For the calves, we'll start here. Hands supporting. Some people like to have um, be on their fists or use push-up handles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna begin by rolling from our ankles to our knees. You can have be on the outsides of the calves or on the insides. If you want more pressure, you can cross one leg over. If you find an area that's really, really tight, you can just lay down and roll your legs side to side on that area. Where I'm at feels like ropes and I don't think it should feel like ropes. So we're gonna give that some attention. Very good, next we're gonna work on the hamstrings. Same thing, some people like to be on their fists or use push-up push -up handles for this. And it's the same thing, we're gonna roll from Gentlemen, be careful for your, your valuables. Be certain to uh, protect them as we roll up and down. 
If you want a little bit more pressure, same thing. You can cross one leg over. You can roll to the inside or to the outside. And then we're actually going to get a bonus minute in today for 11 minutes after this one. Don't get too excited. All right, and then for the last one, we're going to work on our quads. See, even at the time, we didn't know we were going to get a bonus. So for this one, we're going to be on our elbows, plank position. And you're going to kind of crawl up and crawl back down. You want to be relaxing onto the areas that are spicy. There are a few different positions. And also, don't let your belly collapse, same as we've been saying. As you're rolling, you can roll with your leg kind of off to one side, so you're on the inside of one leg and the outside of the other, or vice versa. You can also bend your knees and focus on rolling on the kind of the middle and top half of the thigh, and that itself is a pretty different experience than going in that same place with your legs straight. If there's an area that's really spicy, again, you can just lay on it and relax and allow it to soften, a little side-to-side -side shimmy. All right, and that's our 11 minutes of foam rolling. Thank you. Have a good one.